let me return to that question about uh, maybe the conversation you were having uh, a while ago with Larry Page, maybe looking to the longer future of uh, social robotics, of using Spot to connect with human beings, perhaps in the home. Do you see a future there? If we were to sort of hyp hypothesize or dream about a future where Spot-like robots are in the home as pets, as social robots. We definitely think about it and, and we would like to get there. Uh, we think the pathway to getting there is, you know, likely through these industrial applications and then mass manufacturing. You know, let's figure out what, how to build, how to build the robots, how to make the software so that they can really do a broad set of skills. That's going to take real investment to get there. Performance first, right? The a principle of the company has always been really make the robots do useful stuff. And so, you know, the, the the social robot companies that tried to start someplace else by just making a cute interaction, mm -hmm. mostly they haven't survived. And so we think the utility really needs to come first. And that means you have to hard, solve some of these hard problems. And so to get there, we're gonna go through the design and software development in industrial, and then that's eventually gonna let you reach a scale that could then be addressed to a commercial a consumer level market. And so, yeah, maybe we'll be able to build a smaller spot with an arm that could really go get your beer for you. Mm -hmm. But there's things we need to figure out still. How to safely, really safely. And if you're gonna be interacting with children, you, you better be safe. <laughs> and right now we, we count on a little bit of standoff distance between the robot and people so that you don't pinch a finger you know, in the robot. So you've got a lot of things you need to go solve before you jump to that consumer level product. Well, there's a kind of trade off in safety because it feels like in the home you can fall. Like you're you don't have to be as good at like you're allowed to fail in different ways, in more ways, as long as it's safe for the humans. So it just feels like an easier problem to solve because it feels like in the factory you're not allowed to fail. That may be true, um, but I also think the variety of things uh, a consumer level robot would be expected to do will also be quite broad. Yeah, and they're going to want to get the beer and know the difference between the beer and a Coca Cola, or my snack, and or or to, you know they're all going to want you to clean up the dishes, uh, you know, from the table without breaking them. <laughs> Those are pretty complex tasks, and so there's there's still work to be done there. So to push back on that, here's where application, I think they'll be very interesting. I think the application of being a, a pet, a friend. Mm -hmm. So like no tasks, just be cute. Because I, not cute, not cute. Like the dog is more, a dog is more than just cute. A dog is a friend, is a companion. There's something about just having interacted with them and maybe because I'm hang out alone with the robot dogs a, a little too much. But like there's a, um, there's a connection there, and it feels like that connection is not should not be disregarded. It, 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 no, it, it should not be disregarded. Robots that can somehow communicate through their physical gestures are you're going to be more attached to in the long run. Do you remember I, Ibo, mm -hmm. the Sony Ibo? Yep. They sold over a hundred thousand of those, maybe one hundred and fifty thousand. You know, what probably wasn't considered a successful product for them. They suspended that eventually, and then they brought it back. Sony brought it back, and people definitely, you know, treated this as a as a pet, as an as a companion. Um, and I think that will come around again. Um, will you get away without having any other utility? Maybe in a world where we can really talk to our simple little pet, because you know, Chat GPT or some other generative AI has made it possible for you to really talk and what seems like a meaningful way. Maybe that'll open the social robot up again. Um, that's probably not a path we're gonna go down because again, we're, we're so focused on performance and, and utility. We can add those other things also, but we really wanna start from that foundation of utility, I think. Yeah, but I, I also, uh, want to predict that you're wrong on that. So, which is that the very path you're taking, which is creating a great robot platform, will very easily take a leap to adding uh, 
a chat GPT like capability, maybe GPT five, and there's just so many open source alternatives that you could just plop that on top of Spot. And because you have this robust platform and you're figuring out how to mass manufacture it and how to drive the cost down and how to make it you know reliable, all those kinds of things, it'll be a natural transition to where just adding chat GPT on top oh, of it. Oh, I, I do it. think that being able to verbally converse or even converse through through gestures, you know, part of part of these uh, learning models is that you know you can now look at video and image or imagery and associate, you know, intent with that. Those will all help in the communication between robots and, and people for sure. And that's going to happen obviously more quickly than any of us were expecting. <laughs> I mean, what else do you want from life? Friends, get your beer. <laughs> And then just talk shit about the the state of the world. <laughs> uh, I mean, where there's a deep loneliness within all of us, and I think uh, a beer and a good chat solves so much of it, or it take, takes us a long way to solving. Uh, a lot It'll of be it. interesting to see, um, you know, uh, when when a generative AI can give you that warm feeling that you connected. You know, and that, oh yeah, you remember me, you're my friend, you know, we have a history. You know, that history matters, right? Memory of joint, like- Memory joint, of, yeah. Like <laughs> having witnessed, I mean, that, that's what friendship, that's what connection, that's what love is in, in many cases. Some of the deepest friendships you have is having gone through a difficult time together mm -hmm. and having a shared memory of, of an amazing time or a difficult time and kind of that memory creating this like foundation based on which you can then experience the world together. The silly, the mundane stuff of day to day is somehow built on a foundation of having gone through some shit in the past. And the the current systems are not personalized in that way. But right. I, I think that's a technical problem, not a, some kind of fundamental limitation. So uh, combine that with an embodied robot like Spot, which already has magic in its movement. I think, uh, it's a very interesting possibility of what, where that takes us. But of course you have to build that on top of a company that's making money with real application, with real customers and with robots that are safe and at work and reliable and, uh, and manufactured scale. And I think we're in a unique position in that uh, because of uh, you know, our investors, primarily Hyundai, but also SoftBank still owns 20% of us. Um, they don't, they're not totally fixated on driving us to profitability as soon as possible. That's not the goal. The goal really is a longer term vision of creating, you know, what does mobility mean in the future? What is, how is this mobile robot technology going to influence um, us? Can we, and can we shape that? And they want both. And so I, we are, as a company, are trying to strike that balance between let's build a business that makes money I've been describing that to my own team as uh, self-destination. If I want to, if I want to drive my own ship, we need to have a business that's profitable in the end. Otherwise, somebody else is going to drive the ship for us. So that's really uh, important. But uh, we're going to retain the aspiration that we're going to build the next generation of technology at the same time. And the real trick will be if we can do both. <laughs>